Tell me about yourself. This is a very tricky question. When you're, when you're about to be given an interview, you go to so many places, you hear people telling you, tell me about yourself, and then you start giving your life story. And uh, today I just decided because this is a very unique area that most of the people fail when they're looking for jobs and I say to myself why can't I just enlighten people about exactly what they need to say when you hear this question tell me about yourself how are you going to answer this question perfectly you have to remember the following things that I'm going to speak you have to remember that they are not asking you about your life story. They basically want to understand what value are you bringing in to the company? What value are you bringing in? Do you have any value that you're bringing into the company or are you just telling us, you know, uh, I was born here, I went here, I did this, uh, I studied here. They, they don't want to hear all, all those kind of things. Of course, they are very important, but what they want to hear is about what are you bringing into the company your ideas your skills your new concepts that you bring into the company what has not been done do you think that you can be able to do that they have to hire you what exactly is your new skill your new idea that you're going to bring into the table to teach the other guys that you're working together to teach the management to teach the other fraternity or a certain concept that you're going to use to attract more customers to them that is exactly what they want to hear so it's not about exactly um, who you are where you've come from and all that doesn't really matter and the other thing that um, they I really want you to remember when you ask that question is you should always be yourself and be most importantly be your best self why am i talking about being best self an interview is like going on a date when you're on a date with somebody you want to give out your best energy you want to give out your best uh, time you want to give out your best uh, feeling uh, if you're dating a certain lady you don't want to show your bad side during the first time it's your first impression that you need to give and it's the same same way your employees the HR team and the new company that you're about to work to they want to see how is your energy how do you interact are you a fun kind of person are you intelligent are you smart are you someone that they can put all their effort in are you someone that they can entrust with their work do you have the character which it takes for them to be able to even trust you more Present your best character. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And anytime that I write a point down here, I always figure out exactly what mistakes are people always doing. Because many people, they don't really, really uh, use that kind of um, energy when they're presenting themselves. Most of them are scared. They're thinking this person might be seeing this. They don't care about mistakes. Mistakes are always there. Even me when I'm making videos for YouTube, I'm always making mistakes. I make mistake here, mistake there. But the bottom line of the whole thing is my own character, the way I present the points, the way I explain something, that is the most important thing that you should always have. Let's uh, let them see what is in there for them. When you're with a lady on a date, she wants to see, are you that kind of a happy person that I've always wanted to uh, meet? Are you the kind of person who, you might be having a very good job, you might be having all that a lady can ever have, you have the best looks and all that, but your character doesn't really add up. Your character doesn't make this lady to feel that you're the right person. Why? Because they need to see, I'm going to be in this for a long time. And I need someone who is going to challenge me, who is going to make me feel com comfortable and is going to make me feel better. The same way with the company. They need someone who will make them feel better as they are working. They, his character is good. He's not going to argue with clients, no matter how much intelligent he may be. He's not going to argue. He's not going to uh, solve issues and situations in a very negative way, no matter how good he may be. But he has the right character. The other point that I'm going to speak, uh, which you need to remember when they ask you about yourself is, talk the three S. 
Now, 3S, <laughs> 3S is a very, uh, somehow, most people look down upon the three S's. I'm going to explain what are the three S's. The first S is success. Tell your success story. How are you going to tell your success story? You're going to tell them like this. You see, in my previous job, this is how successful I went. Don't brag, but just say where I was working before, I was able to achieve A, B, C, D. Through the effort that I put in my work, I was able to achieve this. I was able to uh, make my company gain that. I was able to influence these customers in this way. These are the various trophies that I won. These are my successes because that's, that is going to trigger them to see that you're going to bring the same success to their company. So success is one of the S's that you need to have. The other kind of S is strength. What are your strengths? We, we have some strengths that you know, this one is purely my strength. I'm very, very good in speaking. Company so-and-so, please, hire uh, the person hiring me, I want to tell you something. I can be able to speak better. I may have the skills in mind, but the strength that I have on top of my skills is the way I express myself. My language is very good. I can express better. I can be able to do things more than other people the way they do their own. I am good in uh, drawing. I can be able to draw something and to draw an imaginary concept and present it to the board or present it to my fellow workers and we can come up with a good idea which can sell to the customers. My strengths, maybe you're a video editor, you can tell them, Apart from just being a video editor, I also have another strength of being a, a very good person in Photoshop. So that's another uh, strength. I'm good in Photoshop. I'm able to um, make some very nice thumbnails, make some very nice uh, graphic designs. Those are some of my strengths. And I know if included in your team, I will use the strengths that I have, strengths which are not exactly on, or, on what I'm bargaining on, but something which comes on top is a, like an added advantage to bring even more fortune to the company. That is the second S. And the third S is situation. Situation basically means what I am looking for. When you go to a company, I know it's not always about you, 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 you. But let's not fool ourselves here. Everybody goes to a new job because they need to achieve something. My situation right now is because uh, I've been working in a company which was uh, maybe uh, several kilometers far from where I was living and right now, since I found another company which is near to my home place and near to where my children go to work, my situation makes me to want to work with you, which is contrary to working to another company which is a bit far, and that is a situation which is making me want to work with you. I have seen you here and there, I've seen your successes, and my mind is ready to grow. I want to become a better person. I just don't want to be uh, closed down on the small imaginary ideas that I may have or I've had before in different companies, but I want to improve myself because I see this is a place that I can improve. And the situation that we, I have right now is the one which is making me ask for this job so that I may open up and I see as well, the company is in a situation whereby they are at a verge of growing and becoming bigger in this and this and this area, which I'm seeing loopholes of whereby I can close the loopholes or I can open new loopholes to help the company grow better as I myself also improve my skills and become better. So those are the three S's that you need to have in your mind when they ask you, tell me about yourself. The other point uh, is uh, memorize the whole story. Remember to memorize the whole story. When you're coming from home, don't just come uh, just out of the blues and say, I'm coming over, I'm just going to say this and say this and say that. No, always memorize the whole story. No gambling with words. You should seem confident. You should have the script in mind. Why I'm saying that you should have the script in mind is because when you're trying to gamble with words, most people will be looking at you and they'll be saying, this person is like he's lying on something. This person, there's something that he's saying which is not very true. This person, there's something that they're saying that 
is not the right thing. That's why they are gambling with words. That's why they are saying this and they are not sure about this and that. So you should always be straight to the point. You're sure about what you're saying because that one is going to add you max. So don't gamble. Memorize the whole story. Have it here. Recite it over and over again. Say it over and over again before you come from home. That is going to help you a lot. And the final point is avoid panicking. Avoid panicking. Why am I talking about uh, panicking? When you panic, when you panic in a job interview, people are, tend to think that you're lying and tend to think that uh, there's something that you're trying to hide from them. When you're panicking, it brings another essence of a disbelief and um, these guys will, will be wondering what exactly is wrong with you and what are you not telling us because panic is a sense of fear and you only fear when you have done a mistake or you've done something wrong so never panic recite it over again just like i've said in the previous point recite it over and over again say it sit down with your your family your wife or your kids or your friends and uh, your neighbors tell them listen to me as i speak this it, it, did i make any mistake how is my facial expression how am i giving all my my ideas are they in line are they in order am i giving you the right way that, that's supposed to be said and so forth always seem knowledgeable because people like to people who are knowledgeable say some few a or b's which are not even on the context because these people they need to say do you know anything else apart from what is in the context if they ask you we're looking for a video editor as you're explaining how you good your uh, you are as a video editor you can start saying a little bit of what you know about graphic design a little bit of how you know about uh, social media marketing the videos you've done you can post them on social media and they can boom out and make the company even get more sales seem knowledgeable add few points that these people are going to see for sure you you have a mind bigger than the others you have uh, ideas which are larger than the others of course be relaxed and be composed because that is the only way they are going to gauge you and see for sure you've answered exactly what you wanted so the main thing about tell us about yourself is not where you're born how many children you have what you've been doing with your life no they don't want to hear that all they want to hear is what is there for them what do you have for them what are you going to give them that they have to hire you all right thank you very much i'm sure this has really been a great great time if you have liked this video, kindly subscribe down there. There's a subscription button. Just subscribe and uh, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, and you can share this video. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Instagram or watching on Facebook, you can do the same. Kindly guys, I'm sure if you do so, you'll always be getting many, many more other videos like this. And other people as well are going to learn from this. And God is going to bless you. God bless you. Let's have a great, great time together. Thank you.